Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia. Let's see what important news do we have for today. Hip-hop performer, therapist, the descendant of the survivor of the genocide, Mark Turain, with his mother visited to the Genocide Museum Institute in Yerevan. May Hayatunia's views on the importance of the Treaty of Severs and the prospects of its implementation. Perseid meteor shower on Mount Inimut. Offsprings of Western Armenia, Karla Garabitya. The world's oldest solar calendar was found in Portasar, Western Armenia. Urartian traces in Western Armenia, new researches of Armenian cultural heritage. Twelve volunteers from six countries take care of the territory of the Vartnot Temple. American resident and Armenian hip-hop artist and therapist Mark Treeril and his mother Diana Kupelian from Marash in their region during their visit visited the Genocide Museum Institute in Armenia. Within the framework of the Transfer Your Memory initiative, they video recorded the oral history of their story with Shushan Khachatarian, head of the Documentation and Research Department of Genocide Museum Institute in Armenia. During the conversation, Diana Kupelian recalled the screen adaptation of the novel The Forty Days of the Musadag in the 1940s, where her mother, a survivor of the genocide against Armenians, was included in the consulting group for the preparation of the film by the American company Metro Gold Yun Mayer. Unfortunately, due to Turkish pressures, the filming was not carried out. Before presenting the history of their family, they paid tribute to the memory of the victims of the genocide and walked around the museum to learn more on the exhibits. Meher Hayatunyan, candidate of Historical Sciences, associate professor of Sushi Technological University, head of the Khachar Scientific Center and historian, presented his views on the importance of the Treaty of Severus and the prospects of its implementations. According to Meher Hayatunyan, the spirit of the Treaty of Severus continues to remain alive in the center of tension for the Armenian people and for the government of Western Armenia. He emphasized that this agreement is an international document that recognizes the results of the liberation struggle of the Armenian people and its implementation will be possible only when the Armenian people achieve significant emotional and political preparation, which will force the neighbors to accept the terms of the treaty and enable them to take ownership of the designated area. He reminded, although Trabzon was recognized as the territory of Armenia, it remained out of Armenian control due to the lack of power and opportunities to implement the Treaty of Severus. The National Council of Western Armenia reminds that since the existence of the National Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia, the territories in question are part of the territorial integrity of Western Armenia, based on the Treaty of Severus. We are no longer in the context of demand, but we are in the context of condemnation to those territories of Western Armenia, including Artsakh, that are occupied and colonized by Turkey and Azerbaijan. Members of the media and astronography climbed Mount Nemrut to photograph the Perseid meteor shower. Despite the strong wind and cold, they climbed Nemrut to capture the massive status and the meteor shower. Thousands of tourists visit Mount Nemrut every year, and this time they enjoy the unique site, the Perseid meteor shower, with huge status. Mehmed Yelken, director of the Adiyah Man Culture and Tourism Department, noted that this unique scene has attracted the attention in not only the local but also foreign guests. We are located in Western Armenia on Mount Nemrut. Guests come from abroad to watch the meteor shower, and our colleagues from many new agencies are also here. Despite the strong wind, we are here, to, and we hope to be able to take wonderful pictures and better present Mount Nemrut to the world, said Yelken. This was a unique opportunity to present the beauty and historical value of Mount Nemrut, connecting it to the wonders of the universe, which continues to generate interest among both the local and international community. Karla Karabetyan, journalist, director of documentary films, former BBC journalist and until now the only person from America to host BBC World News. She has received high praise for her documentaries on North Korea, Chechnya, Afghanistan, Iran and on topic related to the genocide committed against Armenia. Karla Karapetian was born in the USA and grew up in Los Angeles. The family originates from the cities of Van and Sivas in Western Armenia. 
She has filmed several documentaries on international subjects, children of the secret state, opening the face and the screamers about the genocide with the participation of System of a Down. Denial of genocide has always motivated me in my work, said the director. The world's oldest solar calendar has been discovered at the historical site of Port Asar in Western Armenia, also known as Kobekli Tip. The discovery suggests that around 14,000 years ago, during the Neolithic period, timekeeping was more advanced than expected. The archaeological site of Port Asar continues to be a place of new discoveries that shed light on the past of mankind. Archaeologists from the University of Edinburgh reported that at Port Asar, which is built on multiple stone pillars at the archaeological site, carvings on the magnificent pillar were used as a calendar. A study published by the university suggests that Port Asai may be the oldest known solar calendar in the world. Researchers have found that this calendar includes 365 days, 12 lunar cycle, and an additional 11 days, indicating an advanced understanding of time. The calendar features geometric symbols, braids, and symbols that resemble the letter V. The researchers found that these symbols, when counted, form a solar year calendar that repeats itself once every 365 years. The most interesting image of the calendar is the figure of a large bird with the symbol V on its neck, which represents the summer solstice. This discovery shed new light on the significance of Port Asar, emphasizing its importance not only as a religious complex, but also as a place of clear measurement of time. Professor Dr. Attila Batmas, Associate Professor of the Department of Archaeology, Prehistory and Middle Eastern Archaeology of the Faculty of Literature of the Igin University, is engaged in research in various fields, including anthropology, ceramics, archaeometry, urban archaeology, and art history. Batmas, which illuminates the civilizations and cultures of the past through the data it receives, has been traveling to different states of Western Armenia for years and focuses on the study of the connection between traditional ceramics and writing ceramics. In this context, Patmas, who contributed greatly to archaeology through the research conducted in Van and Bitlis and conducted surface studies for about a week, where there are historical castles, Barrage and Springs. These days, 12 volunteers from six different countries are working in the territory of the Zvartnot Temple, who take care of the surroundings of the historical monument. Most of them are for the first time in Eastern Armenia and immediately express their admiration for the beauty of Armenian architecture and nature. They say that the volunteer program was a great opportunity for them to get acquainted with Armenian culture and deepen their understanding of the country. Volunteers not only work to beautify the area, but also learn about local culture and history. During the day, they take part in various activities, taking care of the surroundings of the temple, restoring the damages areas, and adjusting the maintenance work of the monument. In order to carry out the work efficiently, they intend to work with local specialists who provide their help and provide detailed information about the history of the Zavartnos temple. It is said that the volunteer program is a wonderful way to discover our country, which is entrenched in the mountains. This was all for today. Goodbye.